Where is Petra? Petra is located about 150 miles south of both Jerusalem and Amman, the capital of Jordan, and about midway between Damascus, Syria, and the Red Sea, making it ideally suited as a hub of commerce in the area. The site is considered significant by historians and archaeologists alike because of its beautiful rock-cut architecture and innovative water management system, the latter of which made the region inhabitable, given that it is surrounded by desert and rugged, mountainous terrain. Petra has also been referred to as the Rose City because of the color of the stones used in its buildings. It was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985. City of Petra The city of Petra was established as a trading post by the Nabataeans, an Arab Bedouin tribe indigenous to the region in what is now southwestern Jordan. The Nabataeans living and trading in Petra soon accumulated a significant amount of wealth, and an envious Greek empire attacked the city in 312 BC. This event marks the first reference to Petra in recorded history. The Nabataeans successfully fought back the Greek invaders by taking advantage of the mountainous terrain surrounding the city. The mountains effectively served as a natural wall, buttressing Petra. However, the Greek incursion was not the last time the city would come under attack. In fact, the Romans would invade Petra in 106 AD, and ultimately force the Nabataeans to surrender. The Roman Empire annexed the newly gained territory and changed its name to Arabia Patria. They continued to rule over the city for more than 250 years until the middle of the 4th century AD, when an earthquake destroyed many of its buildings. The Byzantines eventually took control of the region and governed Petra for some 300 years. Lost City of Petra By the beginning of the 8th century AD, Petra was largely abandoned and no longer a significant location commercially, politically, and or culturally. Although no longer an important city, Petra has been noted by historians and archaeologists for its unique architecture as well as a specific innovation made by the Nabataean Bedouins that established the city. Given the rugged, mountainous terrain that surrounds it, Petra wouldn't seem like a logical place to build a city. However, the Nabataeans took advantage of this geography as they erected its key structures. Using an early form of the technique known as rock-cut architecture, the Nabataeans literally carved several of the city's buildings out of the surrounding stone surfaces. As the Nabataean culture evolved, and as the Romans and the Byzantines later sought to leave their own marks on the city, the architecture of Petra began to take on a mix of the different cultures that occupied it. Large and ornate tombs built by the Nabataeans eventually gave way to Christian churches constructed by the Byzantines, who considered Petra the capital of the province of Palestina. During this evolution, while the Romans ruled the city after the Nabataeans and before the Byzantines, the Petra-Roman road was built. This served as the main thoroughfare of Petra, and ornate gates were built, in Roman style, to mark the entrance to the city. Petra today after the 8th century, when Petra was largely abandoned as a trading center, its stone structures were used for shelter by nomadic shepherds for several centuries. Then, in 1812, the unique ruins of Petra were discovered by Swiss explorer Johann Ludwig Burckhardt. He described the ruins of the once great city in chronicles of his travels. With the Western world now aware of their existence, they soon attracted the interest of architects and scholars, among others. Starting in 1929, British archaeologists Agnes Conway and George Horsfield, as well as scholars Tofik Kanan and Ditlef Nielsen, launched a formal project to excavate and survey Petra. Numerous findings have been made in the decades since, including the 1993 discovery of Greek scrolls dating to the Byzantine period as well as the more recent documentation via satellite imaging of a previously unknown monumental structure buried beneath the sands of the area. When Petra was named a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1985, Petra Bedouin tribespeople who had made homes for themselves within the city's remaining ruins were forcibly relocated by the Jordanian government. In the early 2000s, the site was named one of the seven new wonders of the world, leading to a spike in tourism. Since then, efforts have been made to protect the ruins of Petra from heavy tourism, as well as damage from floods, rain and other environmental factors, 